Fine. Never mind, I was lying. Liar. It didn't have as much AC so far. But he makes the save, however. And is, uh, despite being impaled by a stinger, a huge, little scary ass stinger, he's not uh, convulsing and, you know, suddenly drawing scales out of the wound. And that's its turn. Arima. Oh boy, can I see it? Yeah, I suppose. There's a guard, however, a bit in the way, but yes, it's. It's large enough. I'm gonna. Blast noises at it. Oh boy, that doesn't quite hit, I don't think. Yeah, it does actually. Oh, it does. Doesn't manage to dodge. And let me check how many of those get. It's two still? I don't yeah. remember when it's increased. Hold on, let me double check that. Yeah, it's two. So I'll roll another one to see if that hits. That one hits as well? Yep. Both hits. Roll the damage, please. So 12. A nice total of 12 damage, and then Rima. Is uh, can Rima run run underneath the pillars? Yeah, I suppose. Or are they kind of? No, you can. Right. And he'll shimmy along over to the crew. Probably here. First move, and that'll be his turn. Hogan. First new Rima. Mean. Yeah, I'm going to double move. No, oh, wait, actually, I can only make it there. Since I got the shield being all heavy and stuff. Next end of my turn. Okay. Uh... It's the guard's turn, and they all, you know, seem. <laughs> they all scream loudly. This guy here is paralyzed at the moment. But this guy here, you know, he's gonna shoot him. Shoot the monster. Kill the monster. <clears throat> and he does hit. But as uh, the sharp eye Sir Arthur sees, just as his own bolt, it seems not able to pierce between its, you know, scale. Only denting the scales a bit. And he's gonna take some steps back and shoot another time. These guys are good. <laughs> Too good. And it hits as well! But seemingly the same thing happens. Um, mm. We have the guards over at you guys. They, um, Double move to move with you. And the oh, whoops. And the guys with the tower where you guys are are gonna make shots as well. I do my best yeah. to stay out of the way. Uh, they quite bring down the pain as well because one of them crits. Hey. Just... Those are our guys. So, 11 damage from the crit. Pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, they they're sh doing some ship damage to it. Uh, I mean, it's noticeable that the crit managed to land between its scales. Still not doing that incredible amount of damage, though. And it's the guys here who start going up to uh, the wall here and re trying to reinforce it. While uh, this guy up here are also gonna shoot at the scary thing. <laughs> and not the crit! Oh, fuck him up, man! Well, they both can shoot, you know. These aren't that shitty guards, so. 
And bleeding wounds. At the size of the weapon die. Which is a D8. Is it resistible though? No. I mean, we'll die. You don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so. And this. Yeah, I mean, this damage. You know, stacks up. It's oh, you're quite rain, raining them with a lot of arrows. Not all of them hit, but you know, you know, it's a lot of arrows. Death by a thousand cuts. It sounds like. Yeah, and uh, this guy here like shouts, "I'll keep the mayor safe." He takes out his sword. Takes out the mayor. <laughs> yeah. Kills the man. You are now they safe. Can't, they can't kill the mayor if I kill him first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now it's this guy's turn. And uh, as a uh, Mr. Kesey's, they're swarming in from kind of all directions and. How many are there? A lot of them. At least two. More than us? Are we fucked? No. More than Do you, I yeah. I feel no. fucked. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of guards that are fighting them as well. But a pair or like three of them jump over the wall here. And actually... Ooh, stop that. Lands over there. And uh, that's their entire turn, however. But the rest of this is gonna try to get over the palace it will. I'm having flashbacks to when I got tackled. <laughs> yeah, you no. gotta get further than 14 feet over the foot ground now. You I'm like 20 feet. 20 feet. I am 20 feet. Higher. Twenty-five foot. Twenty. For safety's sake. Two feet. Well, the problem is, higher I get, the harder it gets for me to cast. The higher that's I why get I said there. 25, not 30. <laughs> 30. Man, I, I, why are you so weird? Like, you have like a perfect escape plan if, if this goes wrong. You just... But I don't want to run away. I uh, just uh, took their entire back. turn, however. Wait, Weird. but so. your key. My friends. <laughs> we have our first and our second round. And it's, it's our offer again. All right. Well, first things first. Uh, I'm gonna... Ar Arthur, you haven't seen these things before, so. Okay. Uh, but uh, I I kind of want you to roll a charisma saving throw. I'm looking at him. Well, all right. Ooh. Oh, holy fuck, sweet. Oh no. Yeah. You got two horror points. He screwed. So wait, does, do I add two or am I up to two now? No, you have been able to rest and recuperate that well, so... So you know. Okay, Ooh. so I add two horror points, gotcha. Yeah. Is that... does that forfeit my round, or am I just horrified at the sight of these things? Well, first off, you're fighting against them. Cause they're fucking spooky. Oh damn. Oh dear. And I just sort of start shaking, I guess. Like You can roleplay it as you want, but mechanically you have the effect of Frightened. Okay. And uh, because these things, like, okay, to explain how these guys look, because I didn't have a good picture. Imagine, like, a face that is not a face anymore. It's just partially twisted to the side, forming human face. Like, just a random person you met, but it's, like, just on the side, and everything else is just a huge bar of teeth. And like constant like weird clicking noises, and they have like That's... three feet, but one of them are melded to like one together, and they're like just four like tons of claw arms, like to like an extra set of claw arms on them. Yeah, that's a little bit horrifying. Yeah, so they, it looks like a new normal person that you could have been talking to yesterday got transformed into that because like it's still there. Uh, and we need to roll on the short-term madness table. 
All right. It's better if you roll. I'll check. We have it in the. This might need you that you might need some help from your friends, depending on what happens. This crit failing is kind of detrimental. Yeah. Okay, so roll a d100. 96. Oh, the character falls unconscious. What? Oh. oh no! Fuck dicks. Fuckers. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Imagine that's actually his word, just, ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I just pat, and I just... Uh, for the sake of brevity, it. I'll let you make a hard wisdom saving throw for it, if you want to. But it's still yeah. very hard. Like, the DC would be 19 to not pass out. Alright, don't tell me the odds. <laughs> tell me the odds. Oh, oh shit, no. the odds. So I guess somebody will need you to wake up you. So you pass out. I get up, but it's just like, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you will still be fighting if you get wake up, but you need someone to like spend their entire turn trying to wake you up from the shark. Oh dear, it looks like you've lost the old man, oh, sniper. Oh, or maybe um, have a very important spell from a very important bard. That might help. Anyway, who's the bard though? I don't think we, have... we don't have any bards in this party. No. I don't know which spell you're talking about, because I don't have any spell? spells which fix being we unconscious. Have no, idea about no this but spell. you have, like, oh, he fell uh, He fell in so unconscious because, like, his emotions and he's in a shock. Hmm. Anyway. He needs to be calmed. Mmm. Mm, I wonder uh, what's If only there was a way to calm his emotions. Nah, I don't mm. know any. <laughs> but, uh, Eren, what do you do? Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a good question, ain't it? Um, I don't really want to charge in there all on my own. Uh, yeah, motherfucker. Uh, I'm I'm just debating what to do. Is all. Uh, I'm debating, eh? Damn it! I had a plan. I had a plan to use this cool new spell I haven't used yet, and now, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you still uh, could. No, I need to save uh, uh, Arthur. You can could Arthur's... still use it after. Other spell can wait till next turn. <sighs> also, I, I guess... have an emotional support cat. Hug the cat. <laughs> I am. Um... Pet the cat. Around its face. I guess I can just go there. And uh, I, I double move there. And uh, I, I just hope that the others will be able to take out these dudes up in the, the front. Okay. I have a question. How tall is the little tower thing he's on? They are 35 feet. 35? So slightly higher than I am. <laughs> but definitely within range, so I will I will cast a uh, Calm Emotion centered there. Okay. Cast that spell. Like, appear in chat, we know it a spell has been cast. You calm his emotions enough to be able to be awakened, but he's still unconscious. Wait, he's awakened, but he's still unconscious? No, no I no, think no, when no. Zach's okay. saying that I'm calm enough where I could be uh, awakened, but I still need to be awakened, unless that's... Yeah, that's what I mean. Somebody needs to wake you up. Uh, and I'll then yell at the guard to wake you up. Wake the count up. No, fuck off. I like my old men unconscious. No. Oh. It's not the time for that. If they snore, they're my kind of whore. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm using oh, no. abilities. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell that god to wake the old man up. Wake him up before he's and older. I'm okay, gonna do, anything do else? some moving. 